To balance this equation, copper 2 sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide yields copper 2 hydroxide plus ammonium sulfate. Let's add the atoms up on both sides of the equation. I have one copper atom, and then because I have this sulfate, this SO4 here, and an SO4 over here, I can just count this as one thing. So SO4, I have one of those, and the same goes for the ammonium ion, NH4. I have an NH4 here, I have two of them over here, so I can count one NH4 here, and then I have the two on the other side. Hydroxide as well. I have one hydroxide here, and there are hydroxides on this side, so I can just say one hydroxide. Over on the product side, I have one copper. I have, let's do the SO4s, one SO4 group. I have two NH4 groups. This two applies to everything. And then I have two OH groups, hydroxides. So to balance the equation, if I put a coefficient of two right here, this will apply to everything. I'll have the hydroxide, one of those times two. That gives me two hydroxides. And then the NH4, the ammonium ion, I have one of those times two. That'll give me two of those. And all of a sudden, we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the power of writing down the polyatomic ions as one group of atoms. So I have SO4 here, and I'm just saying I have one of them. And that allows me to quickly balance the equation. The key thing to remember is if you have an SO4 here, you also have to have one over here in order for this to work. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus NH4OH yields CuOH2 plus NH42SO4. Thanks for watching.